I'm Joey and today East meets West. We're using beef, bacon and pickles in our version of bacon sushi. So let's mix some ying with some yang and roll up something tasty. Today we'll be making bacon sushi. What is bacon sushi? Well, we didn't know ourselves either until we were inspired by a traditional German dish called Rouladen. In traditional Rouladen, they roll a pickle and bacon, mustard and onions inside a slice of beef. However, the one thing we don't like about traditional Rouladen is the one thing that we should like the most, the bacon. It's soggy because it's rolled inside the beef. And I don't know about you, but I don't like soggy bacon. However, I wasn't ready to give up on Rouladen just yet. I saw its potential, so instead of rolling the bacon inside of the beef, we decided to roll the beef inside the bacon. I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a moment, but before we get started, you need to know that there are two keys to making perfect bacon sushi. The first is, of course, the beef. You need to buy either thinly sliced top or bottom round. I think both work equally well. You'll find the top to be a little bit more tender, but the bottom is just perfect. Also, the beef needs to be cut thinly, typically about a quarter of an inch thick. In my local grocer, thinly cut bottom round is pre-sliced and packaged and sold as breakfast steaks. There's no need to do anything else. Just put it in the cart and you're ready to go. The second key to making great bacon sushi is of course the bacon. Don't buy the cheap stuff. Fatty, cheap bacon will produce a cheap result. To begin, I pre-chopped some onions, but I like them cut really fine. I mean, really just a step above pureed. So to help me with that, I'm going to use this food processor. Now that the onions are cut, we're ready to make our mustard sauce. Let's go ahead and get these in the bowl. We're gonna mix three tablespoons of mustard to create a delicious mustard sauce that will help balance the tartness of the pickle. So again, three tablespoons of mustard. We're gonna use a tablespoon of garlic. I buy pre-minced garlic, it's just easier. Next, we're also going to use a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce or as I sometimes say, Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna mix that up. Add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Now that we have our mustard sauce ready to go, we need to go ahead and get it on the beef. So we're going to lay the beef out flat. And I bought about a pound of these, which will make uh, about 10 sushi rolls. So now that the beef is laid out flat, what we want to do is we want to take this mustard sauce and just spoon it right on top of the beef. Now that you have your beef ready to go, it's time to get this gherkin working. The core of this tasty little meat treat, in some ways the star of the show, is this kosher sliced pickle. Now you can buy them whole and slice them yourselves, but it's just so much easier to buy them pre-sliced. We're going to place them at the bottom where the beef comes to a point. And this will help it all stay together as we roll up our bacon sushi. So now let's roll. Take this. And roll beef, roll it end over end, again starting with the small end and finishing with the wider end. See that there? It's just what it should look like. You're going to get some of the mustard sauce that falls out, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. If you've never made these before, you are in for a great surprise. You take a little bit of work, but the result is just outstanding. Now we're ready to add the bacon. So what we want to do is pull off one slice of bacon, pull up our delicious little meat treat, and roll the bacon 
around. I guess you could say this is just a substitute for the seaweed wrap that they would use in sushi. We're going to want to do this for each of them. There's no need to use any pickles or do anything extra. Some of that mustard sauce will leak out and it will help actually hold everything together. One thing you want to be careful is you want to try not to double wrap the bacon. Double wrapping it will make it harder to cook, uh, but also make it a little bit soggy. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap each one of these up. And once we're done, we'll get them in the oven. Now that your bacon sushi is ready, there's many different ways you can cook it from here. You can cook it on the grill over indirect heat, you can cook it in a cast iron skillet, or as I like to do, put it in the oven. Putting it in the oven is a great way to feed a lot of people at once with very little mess. So we're going to transfer these to an oven safe dish. And you don't want them touching. You want just a little bit of space to allow that bacon to cook evenly. From here, you're almost done. If you have a little extra mustard sauce, what I like to do is go ahead and just spoon that over the top. Now it's time to pop these in the oven. We're going to put them in at 450 degrees and cook them for about 25 or 30 minutes or until the top of this bacon is a rich golden brown color. So these took about 10 minutes longer than we thought. We had them in there for about 40 minutes, but can you see the rich brown color and the crispiness of the bacon? Also, can you see that these look incredibly delicious? The pickle, the beef, and the bacon combine for a unique flavor that is hard to find anywhere else. The bacon serves as a little sleeping bag for the pickle and the beef. These will make a great appetizer at your next party or the main course at your next family dinner. Simply put, the more you make them, the more people will want you to make them. Our motto at Red Meat Lover is any cut of meat, any type of heat, which reflects our belief that there are many right ways to cook and prepare meat. We would love your feedback in the comments below or to joey at redmeatlover.com. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. And in the words of Homer Simpson, I'd be a vegetarian if bacon grew on trees. I have to say I agree. We'll see you next time.